seconds here with another edition of The Scoop for Mason County Press brought to you by West Shore Bank. And today we're at the Hemlock Golf Club with Tyler Reed and we are here to talk about the Joe Lancor Memorial Scholarship Golf Scramble. You got it. Yahoo! All right, That's how it. are you? I'm doing well yourself. I'm good. So you got involved, this is the second year for, yep. the, for the golf scramble yep. and it's going to be held here at Hemlock. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about just the basic details of it and then we'll kind of go into Joe. Okay. Well, uh, second year, last year was really successful. I think we raised 13 to 15,000, okay. somewhere right in there. Um, this year, it's going to be this Friday, uh, the 28th. Uh, shotgun starts at noon. We are full. We just awesome. filled up a couple days ago, so that was awesome. And I believe it's like 25 to 28 teams, okay. somewhere right in there. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go off at noon, and we're gonna play 18 holes in a four-man scramble, and just uh, have a whole lot of fun. There's gonna be a bunch of prizes to win. There's a, a silent auction happening Thursday. Okay. Um, on Friday, on hole number five, we are uh, Park Del Auto is sponsoring a hole in one, um, about a 180-yard shot. Okay. At, par three. Uh, par three. Knock it in and one, you win 10 grand. And what that does, I gotta clarify, cause believe it or not, we had somebody hit it, not last year, but two years ago in the Paul Butterfield scramble. Right, right. And uh, how we do this is if uh, if somebody hits it, 5,000 goes to the golfer and 5,000 goes to the charity. Awesome, That's Yeah. cool. Yeah, so we're really looking forward to it. We got a whole lot of great sponsors, Floor Crafts on board. I mentioned Parkdale Auto. Um, we, Hemlock's really been helping out. And we've got a whole lot of other like PFWs and American Legions really yeah, from like all over all the region. Over. And that's the cool thing on a situation like this and for a, a cause of this sort is it gets a really big reach and we've got a lot of great helpers in this. Cool. So the auction is a, it's over Facebook. Yep. So you go on to the Joe Lancor Memorial Scholarship Golf Scramble Facebook page. Yep. And it runs I believe 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Absolutely. Yep. And that's going to be on Thursday. You're going to be able to go to the, as you said, the Joe Lancor Memorial Golf Scramble page, and they are going to have a live stream, um, silent auction, sure. strange times, call for strange measures. Oh yeah. Um, but we've got some great prizes. Uh, you know, you're going to have to get on there to check it out. But I know there's like an American flag coffee table, some rounds to different golf courses, all kinds of different things to bid on there. Okay, that's cool. It's the big thing here is just to raise money for the cause. Right. And I mean, if you aren't a golfer, that's a great way to do it. Absolutely. Or just to send a check. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, fulfilling Joel's dreams is a big thing that Starla's put a lot of work into. Starla is Joe's mom, and she's really wanted to carry on Joe's legacy. And for those who didn't know Joe, he was just a, a big-hearted kid that wanted to make a difference into the world, and ultimately that led to him paying the biggest sacrifice for you and me. Yeah. So he was in the army. Joined the army a couple of years after high school, correct? Correct. And was deployed to Iraq, Afghanistan. 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 Yep. And ended up um, being killed in the line, basically in the line of duty. Yeah. In active duty. On uh, so. November 9th, they were ambushed up in the hills, uh, and that would be 2007. And okay. he ended up. He's a Purple Heart winner. Um, winner. I don't know if that's a recipient. I guess you would say. Um, and uh, he really gave the ultimate sacrifice right. to protect his brothers there and, and died fighting for us and ultimately ended up passing away on November 10th, 2007. Okay. And so his dream was after he got out of the army was to become a paramedic, right? Correct. So the scholarship that you guys are giving away is to two Ludington High School seniors, $1,000 a piece. Yep. As of now, because I talked to Starla last week and she said she would love to see that just oh. keep growing and growing and growing. Yeah. But somebody who, the, the people are looking to go into the medical field. So yeah. paramedic, firefighters, EMTs, I guess that's a paramedic, uh, yeah. nurses, doctors, that whole thing. So Absolutely. He, he, he was a, wanted to help fight the, fight the fire, I guess is the term okay. I would use to, to really help that situation out. Um, and so that's what we're doing. Uh, they do a thousand, two thousand, two one thousand dollar scholarships. Um, and I know Starla isn't putting a ceiling on where this thing goes. She right. wants to. She wants to try to raise more, and whether that be a bigger scholarship or m multiple scholarships, sure. um, we got involved this year. I was just. I just golfed in it last year. Okay. And so it, I saw the turnout, and you know, you see all the guys that went to school with Joe show up yeah. in their old baseball jerseys, cool. rocking his number, and it, you know, it gives gives you the goosebumps right. because 
we all grew up with him on the baseball diamond and then he went and fought this big war and ultimately ended up dying for you and me. Yeah. Yeah, my mom in third grade. Yeah. So his siblings yeah. did so my yeah. my mom always really liked him too. He was really just a good kid, you know, funny kid. Oh. You know, really fun loving, yeah, for sure. Good right to be around. So it was definitely a, a huge, huge loss. But this is an awesome way to honor him. Yeah. So you guys were supposed to do this back in May. Yeah. COVID. Yeah, it happened. It's still happening. We're, COVID, uh, we're you know? working with it. And, they, you know, i got to give kudos to Hemlock. Um, they've really done a great job of keeping us informed in this on how we're going to do this both socially distanced with social social distancing and, um, you know, with cards and making sure everything's sanitized sure. and as safe as possible. And I, I'm just so happy that we're able to keep it a go and, and still have a great day for a great cause. Right, and then you guys are, instead of doing a dinner, you're doing a boxed lunch. Yep, uh, Jamesport Brewery's catering that. Okay, awesome. Yep, that'll cool. be great. So 25 teams, all signed up, you guys are ready to go. How do you think, what do you think your chances are on getting that hole in one? Or are you like exempt? I am not exempt, I checked. Okay, um, just checking. Not that I think, I've never had one, I don't plan on it. I um, either, but. I, you know, I've talked to a couple of the different teams. We've got some golfers showing up. So right, not only cool. is it gonna be fun, to, to raise money for Joe's cause, it, it's going to be, there's going to be a good level of competition out there too. And if even if you're not competitive, it's going to be a great day and we're going to have fun. Well, and a scramble kind of yeah. takes a little bit of the edge off. Uh, oh, absolutely. I so. mean, you hit a bad shot, all you need is have your, your teammate pick you up. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Or are you guys playing to the rules where you're not allowed to use the same person's shot? Two times in a row. I don't believe that's a rule. No. Oh, all right. So yeah. this this is a great one to golf in. So yeah, I'm sure there's be some ringers out there. Oh, I'm sure. Well, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Well, thanks for having me. I really appreciate the opportunity. Yeah. And for other eh, any other news, check out MasonCountyPress.com. Our weather is always brought to you by Smith Nettie Insurance. And remember, the silent auction for the Joe Lancourt Memorial Scholarship will be happening on the Facebook page Thursday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And the golf outing is full, but it's happening Friday to raise money for a great cause. <laughs>